Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesi suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Hamare karkam pesh kye jate kai bhaasha me kripya deke suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Women de jimu te kong to jung yu yen, chin kan suprememastertv.com xie xian schedule. Ranjangan kami menawakan banyak bahasa, sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kataban schedule. Baramiju nama tu ofera بالعديد من اللغات يرجى زيارة suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule Наши программы предлагают много языков Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com касаясь черта schedule Наши предавания предлагают много языков Моля вижте suprememastertv.com на кона на черта schedule You will be absolutely blissful, I promise Even now Sometimes you sit in meditation, you have just a moment glimpse of the world that you, you have attained. Even third world, you feel, oh, so good. You know, you don't, don't want to get out of it already. Understand me? Not to talk about the fifth level. Just always enjoying immensely, vastly, you know, hugely. Never even think of any other God beyond that. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Dutch, English, Finnish, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Nepali, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Mă bucur să vă văd, telespectatori neprețuiți! Numele meu este Maria, din Târgu Mureș, din România Imaculată. Oamenii noștri, iubitori de Dumnezeu, vă doresc binecuvântări abundente din Rai. România este o țară fascinantă din sud-estul Europei, cu oameni remarcabili. Este binecuvântată cu o diversitate de peisaje naturale, cum ar fi munții Carpați, câmpiile întinse din sud, cascada Bigar și ghețarii subterani pe locul 2 în Europa ca mărime. România are 8 monumente în patrimoniul mondial desemnat de Organizația Națiunilor Unite pentru Educație, Știință și Cultură, UNESCO, printre care Delta Dunării, pădurile bătrâne de faci din Munții Carpați, bisericile din Moldova și mănăstirea Horezu. Capitala țării, București, este cel mai mare oraș și este centrul cultural și financiar al țării. De asemenea, este și locul Palatului Parlamentului, a doua camărime dintre clădirile administrative ale lumii. Noi suntem onorați să vă prezentăm, pe scurt, România minunată, telespectatorii luminați. Oamenii noștri se roagă Raiului să vă cufunde zilele în lumina interioară eternă. De peste trei decenii, Maestra Supremă Ching Hai ne-a iluminat lumea noastră prin învățăturile sale divine. 
Ca maestră complet iluminată, dânsa predă metoda Kuan Yin de meditație celor care doresc să descopere imediat natura de Dumnezeu din interior și să realizeze într-o singură viață eliberarea eternă din ciclul transmigrării. Metoda Kuan Yin a fost practicată de toți maestrii luminați, cum ar fi Buddha, Confucius, Guru Nanak, Isus Hristos, Lao Tzu, Lordul Krishna, Lordul Mahavira, Profetul Mohamed, pacea să fie cu el, și mulți alții. Dânsa pune accentul pe faptul că dacă noi ne aducem aminte mereu de Dumnezeu, dacă suntem altruiști și respectăm legile universale, o să ajungem la cel mai înalt potențial ca oameni și o să înțelegem cu adevărat scopul nostru pe pământ. Maestra supremă Ching Hai este un exemplu viu extraordinar al compasiunii, primițând regulat ajutoare materiale și financiare, precum și iubire refugiaților, celor homeless, victimelor dezastrelor naturale și altora care au nevoie de ajutor. Maestra supremă Ching Hai îi mulțumește profund prea bunului Dumnezeu pentru tot ajutorul financiar, confortul și sprijinul față de cei afectați și aflați la nevoie și sau pentru orice cauză bună de-a lungul anilor, ca un vehicul smerit pentru a lui sau a ei, un termen neutru pentru el sau ea, compasiune și iubire față de copiii lui sau ei, neprețuiți. Maestra Supremă Ching Hai primește sprijin și iubire de la diferite organizații, mass media, guverne și persoane individuale, precum și multe premii de la ei, cum ar fi Premiul Gusi pentru Pace 2006, considerat ca Premiul Nobel pentru Pace în Asia, Premiul de Lider Spiritual al Lumii din 1994, Premiul Mahavir din 2008, 22 februarie și 25 octombrie, ambele au fost proclamate ca ziua Maestrei Supreme Ching Hai și cetățean de onoare al Statelor Unite, etc. și a fost onorată de-a lungul anilor cu nenumărate premii și laude pentru faptele sale umanitare și filantropice demne de laudă. Cerem scuze că nu putem arăta multe alte premii și onoruri 
din cauza lipsei de spațiu și timp. Ca o voce adevărată pentru prietenii noștri animalele, Maestra Supremă Ching Hai promovează dieta păcii pe bază de produse din plante și întrevede, odată cu trezirea omenirii la valoarea sacră a tuturor viețuitoarelor, o lume vegană, plină de glorie și pace, unde animalele și oamenii să trăiască fericiți în armonie. Inițiativele sale de a răspândi trendul vegan sunt diverse și includ distribuția fluturașilor un alt fel de a trăi, restaurantele vegane internaționale Loving Hut, companii de produse vegane, produse de blană vegană, Supreme Master Television, precum și convorbiri dese cu liderii influenți din guverne și presă și participarea la conferințe televizate despre schimbarea climei, etc. Indiferent dacă noi suntem conștienți de asta sau nu, Eforturile sale au avut o influență enormă asupra trezirii globale la un stil de viață ocrotitor al animalelor și despre cum această cale binevoitoare poate aduce pacea eternă între țări în timp ce ne salvează planeta de la schimbarea climei și dezastre. De-a lungul anilor, Maestra Supremă Ching Hai a călătorit în toată lumea, din America până în Africa, din Europa în Asia și a ținut sute de discursuri cu publicul și cu discipolii săi despre diverse subiecte spirituale. Azi, noi suntem binecuvântați să vă prezentăm una din aceste prelegeri pline de înțelepciune. Povestea creației, partea 4 din 4, din Între maestră și discipol, ținută în engleză, pe 26 februarie 2005. just recently moved to the third level. So your mind is still active. It's still on the second level, it's the intellect. So you cannot comprehend what I was talking about. You're more eager to ask nonsense. But it's okay, I understand. You slowly will chew your present, <laughs> choose your gift, and then slowly digest it, and then you will slowly understand the magnitude of it. It doesn't matter, you don't have to understand today. Many of you understand it because your level are higher. If you're on the fourth level, you understand me quicker. If you're on the third level, you understand me a little less quick. But you are it's the border of second level to third level, then you're kind of more or less deaf. Yeah? But it doesn't matter. In the future you will go higher into the third level by By listening to me, uh, by merit, by meditation, you look back in the tape again, you will understand perfectly. Yeah? You understand perfectly what I'm talking about. So everybody has his time. Mm -hmm. No problem. You are all my children and I love you very much. Bad of you. and children also children. <laughs> yeah, like grandchildren actually. Huh? Grandchildren, no? Because the fifth Lord created you, eh? So you don't abandon the five names, yeah? Because the fifth Lord is cre has created you. Through my power, of course, but he still created you. He's the artist, okay? You are the pro production of the fifth level Lord. So never abandon the five names because the other gifts are more 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 points. No. You will go back there later and face him. Okay? And then you say, Wow, 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 what have you been doing all this time? You never even remember me. <laughs> and now you couldn't even go up to the Almighty. So there you are. Huh? You only here with me, I deal with you. <laughs> No, the Lord of the fifth plane is very merciful. He would never be mad at you, but you will be ashamed. No? So remember him, eh? Remember the five names with all love and respect. 
Can you believe in there all the time, eternity to eternity? And uh, even within the five rims, there's so much to learn, so much to enjoy. You will never think of anything higher. You never can imagine that anything would be better than that. So you'll be absolutely happy, 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 happy. Yeah? You don't even remember me. <laughs> okay, okay, I remember her. She gave us a lift. <laughs> Especially if he doesn't even live in the same town that he gives you a lift to. He just passed by the town, dropped you in there, and then he gone somewhere. Who would remember? Depends on the driver. What? Depends on who driver? Yeah, if she's a beautiful driver. <laughs> you remember, right? <laughs> Never mind, never mind. It's all right. We all want, ne? We all want. You live in a different house, that's all, okay? We all want. Uh, suppose, uh, suppose you are British. I'm just saying, for example, you are British, yeah? And the Queen of England, even though she's a queen, but she's also British, you know? They live in the same country. She just happened to be the head of the state, but you are one with her, yeah? In the same country, same countryman. Understand now? Yeah, you don't have to be God. You're one with God. Yeah? You always one with God. You are one with God already now. Your soul already merged into God. Just we live in different mansion, different house, different region. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay? You will feel absolutely blissful, I promise. Even now, sometimes you sit in meditation, you have just a moment glimpse of the world that you, you have attained. Even third world, you feel, oh, so good. You know, you don't, don't want to get out of it already. Understand me? Not to talk about the fifth level. You're so always enjoying immensely, vastly, you know, hugely. Never even think of any other God beyond that. Believe me, you will not feel any lack of anything. You feel complete. You feel like you are God. You will feel that way. And that is what it means by being one with God. You will feel like you are God. You will feel like that. Now you are encased in the body. Now and again in the body, the soul come out and have a dream. Oh yeah, that's what it is. But then you have to come back again because of karma, because of death of this world, you know. But once you leave this body, you feel like that all the time. Even on the third level, you feel like you are God. You feel like nothing else better than this already. So don't worry about this mind. It's the mind that complains nonsense. Yeah? yeah? The soul is beautiful there and happy already. Your soul is already happy up there. Only now and again. Now and again, your, your, your mind have a glimpse of it. Yeah? But your soul come back and forth, okay? Your soul come back and forth. All right. Good? See, like you buy a new house, eh? But you haven't moved in yet. Oh, you did move now and again, you're still moving luggage, yeah? And it's still hard work, of course. You move luggage, you have to clean, you have to paint, and you have to buy furniture, all kind of things. And it still feel hard work, you don't enjoy it. But what for? I have a house built for and I'm working. Even if you're not working, you still have to ask somebody to do it for you, and you have to supervise it. And it's, it's not fun. It's not fun to renovate a house and to tell people, take up all the glass, grass in the garden, plant you. It's all messy, messy inside out. So you don't feel like you are any owner of the house or enjoyment. But after the, you know, the, the complete, then you come inside and say, oh, now I feel good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Understand now? Yeah. So you are in the transition. By the time you drop off this garbage of so-called body, you will enjoy complete. You never feel like anything else would be better. Even third level, fourth level, you never feel anything better. You would, would think as if you're in the fifth level because it is like that. You understand? It is like that. If you don't know anything different, the soul would feel happy there. 
For example, even now in the physical body, you don't know anything about heaven. Everybody happy in this world. Tell them if they wanna go. If if suppose you wanna kill them, you say, "I kill you now. You go to heaven." Would they want to? No. No. But the, this is fine with me. I have house. I have car. I have job even. Yeah, I have wife. I have kids. Even I'm fighting every day with the wife. But I have a wife. <laughs> uh, we never know what for, but I have a wife. I'm happy, you know. That's all he knows. So let alone if you go to the third level or fourth level, you never know anything more than that. You will be blissfully happy, and you should be. Yeah, you should be. Whatever you 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 earn. You will be happy. You think that's perfect? Really, it's like that. So don't worry. Okay, you forget me in no time. Oh dear, you don't even know what God exists up there, or not. because it, even now in such a suffering world, a lot of people don't even know if God exists. Not to talk about in the fifth level, they'd be too blissful. Understand? Dear, you worry about things that didn't happen yet. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> you worry that not enough to go to the fifth level, dearest God. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. <laughs> you know, just like somebody advertises about diamond and all that, and then he gives you a gold ring. And he talk about diamonds, which is more expensive. And I say, oh, I don't feel enough to have this gold ring. You know, you didn't even never have it before. Anyway, okay. I'm sorry that you have met a different master. Therefore, you can compare, and now you make trouble for yourself. If you just met a Buddha, then uh, you'll be happy already, huh? Oh, I can always uh, refer you to the new Buddhas. Huh? <laughs> I love you too, but that's a problem, huh? That's a problem. If just a minister comes to your house, yeah, then you worship him already. But then he talk about the queen, eh? And then you feel like, oh God, I, why, why the minister only, huh? <laughs> huh? Normally, if a minister comes to your house, you feel grateful, grateful and great or honor already, right? But then he talks about the palace and all the stuff, and you begin to feel like uh, <laughs> this is nothing. You know? Why not the queen come to my house? <laughs> the girl that did, yeah, yeah. did give us somebody one arm, he won the leg as well. That's what it is. Yeah. For example, if uh, one of the palace personnel or maybe prime minister invites you to his house, you feel very great honor already, right? Yeah. And then you say, why not go into the palace? What for? What are you doing there? You have nothing to do in the palace and you want to go live there. <laughs> huh? You don't even know how to go in the country. You don't have a title. You, you, your manner is not even fit to be a royalty. You don't even know how to walk like one. Or to eat like one, and you want to go there and live there <laughs> all day long. <laughs> Imagine that. To do what? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. Just want to get there. <laughs> Just want to go to the queen palace and sit there. <laughs> Best is even to be the queen, the second queen, the third queen, fourth queen. All they want to be queen. All the English people go to the palace, look at the palace, sit all there like queens. <laughs> God has to laugh at you. <laughs> Suppose you be God. How you know how what what to go in the universe? Can you? No. And you go down here and suffer like this? Can you? No. No. Just don't want the work. Just want the title. <laughs> the fifth level is already awesome. No, what I go to? The highest place. Do what? <laughs> Sit there like an idiot. <laughs> okay, suppose God let you, allow you to go sit down there. On his the highest floor. What what you do? Tell me your plan. <laughs>
Yeah. Even, you know, there are things to do for the queen and the king, huh? Not just sit there and have the crown, that's it, you know? <laughs> have no idea about politics, about foreign affairs, nothing at all. <laughs> and when it comes crisis, even worse. <laughs> what to do, what to do? <laughs> yeah. In the history of humankind, there are no lack of stupid king and queens. It's probably the same case. Yeah? Uh, maybe he just take the throne by force, or maybe he just push himself there by crafty means or anything, and then don't know how to govern the country and make war with neighbors, and the whole kingdom kaput. A lot of people suffer, yeah? Because of these idiots who are not fit to be king and queen. It's not to be what? You have to be, you are what? Huh? We're made of what? Huh? The substance, the quality, and the capability. We have, accordingly, the universe, the universe will appoint us to do what? Huh? Okay. It is impossible for any son to become a father again, even though he came from the father. He can inherit the father's, uh, you know, treasure, né? money. He can run the business for the father, but he can never run it as a father. Or we come back to the father and be the father, even though the son and the father is the same, one. But it's not the same. Yeah? What for you want to be father? He's old and ugly and frail. <laughs> Enjoy your youth, freedom, eh? enjoy the differences. Oh, I hope you're happy. Yes. <laughs> well, the thing, a long time ago there was a Tsar of Russia, eh? he came to Spain himself to try to learn the art of making ship. You know that, huh? And yeah. And by the way, he saw his countrymen was working hard there, and the life is so difficult, and but he took pity on them. So when he came back home, he took them all with him. But they didn't know that he's a king. The king did not have to do that. The king could also assign a diplomat or something. He doesn't have to do that personally, uh, personally taking care of them. He could appoint somebody to take care of them and bring them home. But he did that. And you cannot complain afterward. You know, suppose the, the embassy, ambassador take care of you, then you'll be grateful already. Mm, but now, because the king take care of you, or you want to go in the palace and <laughs> be there forever. <laughs> it's not the proper way, is it? No. It's not possible, is it? Understand now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are too cute, you know. I'm just imagining all of you sitting there like God. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what to do. <laughs> you, you think it's easy being God, eh? Being uh, the absolute God. You think it's easy, right? No. No? Yeah. A lot of work, you know? Because the, 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 the crudest side of the universe is always making trouble. So always have to fix something, eh? And sometimes you cannot delegate the, the council. So you have to go do it yourself, and this is more difficult. Because of the different, the great difference between the finest and the crudest. That's difficult, huh? Just like we live in a mountain, and we dive into the deepest, deepest of the ocean. Oh, the pressure is so great. You could you could explode the whole body, you know, into pieces. You know that, right? Yeah. Even the submarine, you know, the submarine is made of the, the the strongest kind of structure of metal, right? So that it can it can withstand the pressure of the sea. But there's only certain limit of depth that the submarine can sink uh, and sink down to. If he sink below that, he explode the submarine. Do you know that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. At least you saw the film, eh? And the film say to me like that. It must be true. <laughs> no, it's it's the law of pressure. You know, it's the law of physics. 
yeah? This is like the law of gravity. There's nothing we can do about it. President or common people are subject to the law of gravity. The same if we go to the sea, it's such a, such a pressure that we cannot bear, eh? Understand now? Okay. Right. I'm gone. Spectatori minunați, noi vă apreciem compania la episodul de azi intitulat Povestea creației, partea 4 din 4, din Între maestră și discipol. Va urma în continuare scrierile lui Bahaulah, cele șapte văi, partea 7 din 8, din cuvinte ale înțelepciunii, imediat după Noteworthy News. Vă invităm să rămâneți cu noi pe Supreme Master Television pentru mai multe emisiuni pozitive. Fie ca inimile dumneavoastră iubitoare să fie pline de binecuvântări spirituale. Wonderful viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled The Story of Creation, Part 4 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Writings of Bahá'u'lláh, The Seven Valleys, Part 7 of 8, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May your loving hearts overflow with spiritual bliss. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BND.